Jesse gets the green light, and you're watching InsidePunk.com. Did you start out giving your names and what you do in the band? Uh, I'm Drew. I play bass. I'm Trevor. I play guitar. I'm Rory. I sing. I'm Matt. I play drums. And where are you guys from? We're from Baltimore, Maryland, suburb outside Baltimore. Uh, debut EP, Choose Your Own Adventure, and just came out this summer. Yes. How has the response been for that? The response has been amazing. We just, we we actually recorded the whole thing at my house, and just over tons and tons of time and trial and error and stuff, we ended up with something that we were really happy with. And we got a chance to go on our first tour this summer, and we've met so many awesome people in so many awesome towns. And the response has been amazing. Well, we tracked, uh, we tracked a good bulk of the CD with our friend Paul Levitt in Baltimore. Um, and from that point, we were kind of just sitting on stuff and waiting for... I mean, we were recording, but it was a slow and steady process. We weren't really trying to rush anything, so probably, it ended up being about like two or three months until we were completely finished. And then we had to send it off for like mixing and mastering and all that. About a month later, we ended up with our CDs. And two days before we left for tour. Just kidding. Yeah. It's a perfect time. Now I'm wondering, do you like those Choose Your Adventure books? Is that where yeah, they're... Yeah, they're that's from? actually the way we got that. I was sitting in his girlfriend's bedroom and I saw one of their books and I was like, Choose Your Adventure. Oh my gosh, that's what we're naming our CD. I can come up with so many ways like to relate that, tell a story around our CD. So. We actually got really lucky that his girlfriend is related to the person that wrote the book. So yeah, her aunt is actually <laughs> yeah. the person who like wrote all the Choose Your Own Adventure books in the whole series. So it's, it, we were pretty lucky with like the trademark and stuff like that because yeah. she was related, so she couldn't be too upset about it. <laughs> now, I read somewhere it was originally going to be titled "Faith as a Fine Invention." Yeah, that was the original title, but then I guess we kind of made the decision not to put out a CD for a while and. We sat on that for like two months and then we were like, we need to put out a CD, we need to do this. We have awesome songs we wrote, we're really proud of them. And then came up with a new title that fit the story so much better, so it's a good one. Uh, did that come from the Emily Dickinson poem? Yeah, precisely. Were you guys reading that in school or something like I that? I read it in school. Heard? And then The Great Gatsby? Right. It, I'm right. guessing... It's like a book, book reference. A lot, most people get it, but every once in a while I run into somebody who doesn't really understand what the Great Gatsby is. Yeah. So. It's cool because kids usually read it in school, so. And it yeah. sounds pretty cool, so that works out also. Do you guys like Gatsby's American Dream? Uh, yeah, they took our band name. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, mean, go ahead. Good music, we respect it. Just as well as they should respect us. So. Did you ever get any crap from people that think you kind of stole the name from them? Not really. I mean, yeah. people, so every once in a while people will say something about it, but it's never anything negative. People yeah, it's usually, it's it. usually that they're not giving us crap, they'll get us confused with them or saying like, wait, I think I've heard of you, and then we'll say, are you sure not thinking of Gatsby's American Dream? And they'll be like, oh wait, yeah, that's in Or they'll be <laughs> like, no, no, I've heard of you, Gatsby gets the green light, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. Most of the time. Um, is this just like, stuff you've read in school or do you like to read a lot on your own? <laughs> I, I mean, we all use it. We try and read as much as we can, but I mean, we're pretty much completely involved with the band in our yeah. lives and nothing else, so we don't really have much time to read. But we listen to books on tape on tour and stuff like that. <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Da Vinci Code got us through our last tour. So do you have any other favorite books or authors? Uh, Tom Wolf. I just I read know, I Choke stuff. by Chuck Palahniuk. 
think that's how you pronounce his last name. <laughs> we I don't know, know but that was a really good. Book. He's the guy who wrote Fight Club, right? Yeah, recommend that. Care, right? So you guys are still unsigned? Yeah, right we're independent for now. I'm, until something good comes up, we we'll don't really see that changing at any time. Yeah, we're all still in school, so I mean, we're taking our time. We're trying to stay independent as long as possible. Until we uh, find something that we're really interested in. So I saw you mentioned on BaltimoreSun.com this summer. Yeah, How does that awesome. work we out? Got, we got home from tour and we had a message. This guy was like, do you want to do a feature? In the paper it was a Thursday but the number of people that said they saw it was great we had a picture a little interview and stuff so it's cool because we uh, we didn't really tell anyone that we were gonna be in the Baltimore Sun but a lot of people just were saying hey we saw you guys in the newspaper and so you know, people look at that section so yeah and it's awesome that they contacted right. us about it it's cool that at least somebody's hearing our music uh, can you talk about your CD release show it was awesome. It was, I mean, we were gone for a good while and we didn't really play much before then. So we didn't really get to see any of our friends for a long time and nobody had really heard the CD until we got back. So we, were, we played with Tokyo Rose. We got, uh, they asked us to play yeah. the show and Adelphi. It was, it was like really awesome. Yeah. It was like Tokyo Rose, Adelphi, Madison, oh, yeah. South Pot, Thin really Dark cool. Line. They're our best friends. Yeah, it was great. We couldn't have asked to like, play CD release and anyone else. It was all our best friends. So. The only downside was it was extremely hot, yeah, no air conditioning. So it was actually it ended up being a great show. So it was really awesome. happy about the response was incredible. How's the EP been selling since then? Great. I mean, as far as everybody in the world is concerned, besides us, we're nobody right now. So we've we've gone through about a little over a thousand copies by now, and it's only been out for like a month. So I mean. On our own, with no push from anybody else but ourselves, we've been doing great on like MySpace and tour. And we're really happy with our numbers at the very least. And I think it's more important that we're reaching a lot of people than you know, anything else we could be doing. Definitely. So how do you get everyone dancing at your shows? Be enthusiastic. Be confident that your music, you know, what you're giving them is what they're going to enjoy. I mean, that's what you can do at the very least. And just connect to them. It's, Actually, pretty easy. And, it, if you, and then it kind of just comes automatically if they like yeah. it. They start, you know. A lot of kids are very supportive and very fun. So. Bye.